Welcome in to this edition of Great City Attractions. Today we tour the majestic sights of Bali. These are the great tourist attractions of Denpasar. Badra Sandi. A striking looking creation, this is a monument that marks the history and struggles of the Balinese people. The monument was started in the late 1980s. Administrative buildings and exhibition halls cover the main building, while dioramas depict the plight and toil of the people of the nation, particularly their struggle against Dutch invasions. There's also a space for mindfulness and meditation present. Tegalalang, a popular tourist attraction. The Tegalalang rice terraces are a great trip into the workings of rice production. Ancient irrigation methods are front and centre here, with the terraced paddies descending over a vast, ever-evolving landscape. The vibrant green colours will be sure to light up any photos you take here. A small informal entrance fee is generally enough to take in this fascinating sight. Uluwato Temple A great temple in a spectacular location. Uluwato Temple is situated on a 70 metre high cliff in the area of South Kuta. The temple itself is dedicated to a god of Indonesian Hinduism. Curious monkeys are known to frequent the temple in large numbers, with tourists advised to keep their belongings on them at all times to deter theft. A notable dance is performed on site daily, with sunset also a great time to visit the temple to get those unforgettable sights and views over the ocean. Denpasar Beaches Bali has many world famous beaches. Among the most notable close to the main city of Denpasar are the Kuta Beach, the Perurinan Beach, and for those looking a little further afield, the Panadawa Beach is backed by soaring clifftops and beach statues. You'll never be too far away from having some sand between your toes when taking in the sights of Bali. Ulandanu Bratan, a great trip to a majestic place. A Hindu temple, this temple is situated on Lake Bratan, and is also called the Bali Temple on the lake, with a temple jutting out into the lake on what can look like an island home. The temple itself dates to the 17th century, and is dedicated to the Balinese goddess of water and lakes. There's also a Buddhist presence on site too, with a Buddhist stupa in close proximity to the Hindu temple as well. Sangha Monkey Forest If you're keen to take in a little bit of monkey business when on Bali, then you can head out to the Sangha Monkey Forest. There's over 500 of the primates to greet you here, with the monkeys acting up over their 14 hectare habitat. A number of temples are also present in the area, meaning you can combine the animal love with a little faith for a special day out. We'd love your support. Please subscribe to the channel. Ubud Palace The official residence of the royal family of Ubud. The palace is known for its artworks and carvings, notably of monkeys and flowers associated with the area. The site also has a temple, and showcases traditional Balinese cultural practices, with a dance performance also taking place on the site most nights for a fee. Tibumana Waterfall A trip into the interior of Bali will see you escape into lush and majestic landscapes, many of which are dotted with the most beautiful waterfalls you could imagine. One such fall system is that at Tibumana, one of many in the area that draw crowds for their beauty and tranquility. If you want to escape the heat and get that perfect Instagram photo on Bali, then this just might be the place to do so. Patong Titi Bandia An immense statue that's prominent at a crossing of major roads of Bali. The statue depicts Rama in charge of an army of monkeys as he makes his way to rescue his wife from a hostile kingdom. You might only get a glimpse of the statue as you pass through, but it's certainly a striking part of the trip. That concludes this edition of Great City Attractions. Subscribe to the channel. What's your favourite place to visit in Denpasar? Comment below.